whenever we find ourselves as a child in a difficult situation, whenever we need emotional care, we run straight to our mother. If we fall down and hurt ourselves, I suppose once mommy kisses it, it's all gone away. In times like those, we run straight to our mother because we know when we go there, in her arms, we will receive that comforting presence, the warm hug, and to assure us that yes, it's painful, but it'll go away, it'll be all right. And once we are assured of that, then life continues on. And we do fall many times after that, and the same thing happens. Jesus loved us so much that he gave us his own mother to be our mother. Because in times like these that we find ourselves in, when we are anxious, when we are troubled, when we are sick, when we are suffering, when we are alone, and we need a mother to comfort us, Jesus, knowing all these things on the cross, gave us his own mother. Because he knew full and well that not all our earthly mothers would be with us all the time, and to remind us that we are loved more than anything in the whole world, Jesus gave to us the woman closest to his heart, his own mother to be our mother. So these days, whilst we are struggling, whilst we find ourselves in a difficult place, in a difficult situation, we turn to our mother under the title, Mother of Good Health. And we ask her intercession to obtain for us good health of mind and body. Mary is always ready to come to our aid. She's always ready to come to help us, to comfort us with her presence, to protect us with her mantle, and to obtain for us good health of mind and body. The church is also seen as mother. We call the church Holy Mother Church. And through her sacraments, she brings healing and comfort to all of us. Only a few weeks ago, I was called to Peter's house, Peter Krupshank, who we offering Mass today, uh, to anoint him and to offer him the comfort of the church. And the anointing of the sick is such a powerful sacrament that when someone is sick, they should call for the priest. Call for the priest so the priest can anoint you and give you the comfort of the church. So often people wait till someone is breathing their last. And now they are so hard to find a priest at that last moment unless you have a very special grace that you pray for all your life to find a priest, it's going to be difficult to find a priest. So when someone is sick, call for the priest, let the priest come and anoint the one who is sick, to assure them, yes, everything is difficult now, but things will change, things will get better. And better, not necessarily physically better, but better place that we would eventually go to. And whilst we are praying for Peter at his Mass, we're assured of the comfort of our Heavenly Mother. We pray that she will comfort us and her family at this time to protect those who are under her care and pray that she will take Peter safely home to heaven. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit,